Oh, he needs to stop doing that warm up. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just got well and truly humbled. Jimmy Anderson's like a hero. I mean, I'd have bounced him by now and again. What would Baz McCollum say to you right now? Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Cricket District. Today is a very special episode of Village vs Pro at Lords with thanks to LV Insurance. That's right, today we're taking on two legends of the game, Stuart Ward and Jimmy Anderson. Here we go then. Who would have thought I'd be saying this? But we are about to face Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad. Jimmy starting off. Uh, I guess I'll take middle. Come here. So is that middle-ish? No, 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 I'll put it back, put it back. <laughs> he was on off stump. Is that middle? That's middle and off. First ball from Jimmy Anderson. Oh, wow. Oh, stop, Jack. Start. Get two through the covers for that. The main thing is bat and ball. Next ball. Ooh, nice nice bold. Are you, you're classing that as two dot balls to start, are you? Um, you have a cover with that ball. Yeah. His action is so snappy. Keeping quite low as well. And if you can't tell, I'm pretty nervous. I've got a feeling with a bit of bounce, you're going to nick him off the second slip. A bit of bounce? Never got a bounce in my life. Whoa. What You're always going to take an inside edge for two through square leg. I'm giving you two for that, Jack. Two runs on the board. Two runs. Two runs. Bat on ball was <laughs> the main thing. All oh, my fielders are broke. Uh, uh, it must have. It can only have been a misfield. <laughs> no run. Was that four? He's, uh, he's Nick one to mid on. I don't know what I can do with that. Jimmy, when was the last time you played club cricket? Uh, 2006. Who for? Burnley. Burnley. Played the last six games of the season. As a batter? As a batter. Maybe bowled the last two games. Or last game. Runs? Top score, 35 not out. Uh, and we won the league, got a medal. Am I right, am I right <laughs> in thinking, you know when you got 81 at Trent Bridge? Yeah. That was your first? First 50. First your first ever 50 was a test my, 50? Well, it's my only ever 50. Amazing. Got in any sort of cricket. Burnley. 49 not out opening the batting was my highest score. Yeah, off how many before, Or 50 over. Baz ball. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of this now. Right, let's just, just, for, just for the record, guys, show that to the camera. Yeah, Brace your surface. Um, In typical village fashion, nobody remembered to bring a new ball, so we had to start with this. I'm going a, 130 overs old, this ball. Come on, Jack. Oh, play. play. Couldn't run him out there. You feel like your intensity is like growing here. Putting a little bit more in now, aren't you? To a lot of people around 20, 24 age, Jimmy Anderson's like a hero. To be fair, I've never bowled with a ball like this. That's, all, that's your job. Do you not think it makes things more even? <laughs> to be honest, if the ball gets like that, what do we normally do? Come round the wicket and bowl bounces. What's the ball, what's the ball here? I think he looks quite comfortable with the ball straight. I reckon it's, you've got to risk a little Slightly bit wide. of width. Not width, but like fifth stump. I think All we right. can nick it. Why did the crease? Oh. Quite comfortable there as well. Trying to get a bit more forward in that one. Oh. What do you make of Jack's technique? He looks good. He looks really good. Yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's trying to dominate with, even with the amount of cherries on his bat. You know, he's arrived at. He's come to bat and it's, it's like Alpha it's Alpha. like Shander Paul's bat. <laughs> it's like he's been at home and painted something red and whacked it on his own bat. But um, he, he shapes up really nicely. Still can't believe I'm facing Jimmy Anderson here. Like you see like all these different angles of Jimmy bowling, but it does not compare anything to facing him. It's such a smooth, nice action. Oh, that's a good shout. Bowl your left arm, Zane. That's probably got more of a chance, actually, isn't it? Come on, up there. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. What is coming here? <laughs> Didn't expect this. Oh. Do you know what? That could be out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the closest I've come to getting him out. The guy on the boundary there. Is it my turn? Cheers. Looked after it nicely. 
Should I have a warm up or not? I thought you'd just been doing that for half an hour. Yeah, but I haven't got a big workload inside me, have I, like it? Right, Jimmy Anderson, complete. I think I might be out on that last ball, to be fair. I've definitely not got all of it. But in terms of his actual pace, reasonably happy with how I did there. Would have been actually nice to get some runs, like proper runs, not just nibbling around to mid off and mid on. Right, we're already up now. Just kind of make him play. Or I think short, short stuff. Short stuff. Short stuff. The thing is, you, you're, you're bounce. If he keeps playing shots like that, could nick it. Yeah. Or bouncer. Well, right, Jack versus Stuart Broad. Second over. Oh. Seen that before. Slightly over pitch. Not overly happy with that. It does shape up nicely, doesn't it? It does shape up nicely, yeah. Do you think you'd sledge him? I mean, I'd have bounced him by now and again. Oh, god, yeah. Oh. That's the one. <laughs> I was a bit scared on that That's one. That's the one I'm looking for the nick. Need it a foot closer to you. Ooh. Played Jack. Went for the stumps, played it well. Should bowl a little bit shorter. What's he going for here, do you reckon? Bouncer? Ooh. Played again, Jack. That wasn't far off a bit of skin no. there. <laughs> it's about an inch off, I reckon. That's there. That wasn't far off hitting him the most painful spot. Yeah. <laughs> but he hit the middle of the batman for four, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Four if you were at final. What are your options here? What do you go for? Well, I don't really want to bounce. I've not bought a bouncer in a net for. 15 years. No, that's true. But he's annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. No, I, thought... I reckon his confidence is sky high right now. He's, he's... How many wickets between you guys, test wickets? 1,200? 1,400? 675? Must be, yeah, 12, must be 1,200 something. 1,200 yeah. test wickets. How many of those 1,200 were with a ball like that? <laughs> I'd say zero. It's actually gone more and more out of shape now, hasn't <laughs> it? Must be a Dukes in this year. Just like village cricket. Niche joke, that. <laughs> That was a niche. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have to bowl that one again, Stuart. One. We haven't got him out. No, he doesn't look like getting him out. Oh. Horrid length. Fair play. It's a really bad shot as well. To be oh. fair, if you get any bat on that, it's four. It's four. I thought with you going cross seam there, I, that was I, a bouncer. I, was, I changed my mind about here. <laughs> Right, last ball. It'd be so good to survive. Oh. Missed it. Played. It's like the only way I can get you to not. I feel like I'd have to be outside off some to get the edge. To get the edge. Played nicely, really nicely. Oh, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Slightly terrifying, but we've done it and we've survived. Two overs. And that last ball off Jimmy might have been out there, I think. Didn't care all of it. Uh, not short score, I'm going find out. Right, time for my first winter net. Pretty casual one. I'm playing against Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad at Lords with thanks to LV Insurance. Let's give this a go. I'm a bit nervous. Do we have any inside info? Is what's his weakness? Well, can you guess what division he plays? Uh, I need to see him shape up. The way he's whirling back. The way he's, oh he's warming like Joe Root. It's got to be <laughs> Premier League, isn't it? You reckon? It's got to be Sussex 2s the way he's carrying on at the minute. I'm going to tell you after the first ball. If, okay. it's, if it's any lower than that, he needs to stop doing that warm up. You got any more routine you need to go through, or are you good to go? Right, I reckon that's about middle leg, toes out. That's a Stuart Broad. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Toby, watch the ball. Nice, Toby. You can see off stump. Mm. That's what I'm going for. If you bowl, if you had a ball that was swinging, you bowl your away shape from that straight line, bold. Oh yeah, the same with him though as well. Thanks. <laughs> I think he's more nick from wider and nick back. Do you reckon? Whereas I think you'd swing it away and bowl him. What did for Selmerston? Uh, 10. Oh no, we've gone up to nine. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Reckon I'm, I'm close to edging off here, I think. I need to get a bit shorter. If that's a moving ball. I won't bowl short, but it needs to be a bit shorter. I need a back of a length. Suddenly, and now I've got a bit of blood going, I'm starting to get a bit competitive. I'm booked me in for a six-hour spell it, I'm all right. 
Get my workloads in. Oh, that's nice. That's quite quick. Great lead. But well there. Yeah, that's quite sharp. Come on, Toby. You can survive. You can survive. That was nice. Great lead. Actually held it a bit too long though, didn't he? But... No, he deserves it. You're thinking bouncer, aren't you? I can tell. I'm itching for it, but I also don't, really don't want to hurt anyone. It, mainly yourself. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to pull your side, dude. Bowling a bouncer. Oh. He kept trying to do that to me, make me come outside and try and nick it. Yeah. You've managed to get a 200 over ball there to swing. Well, it, just, it did actually just move away yeah. a little bit, didn't it? It's just foot wider. It's good length, just a foot too wide. Do you have these chats when you're playing international work? Yeah. Literally just how you can yeah. manipulate it even more. Everyone. It's such a <laughs> different level. Like I'd never, like how you so like in detail talk about each, each ball is. It's amazing. I mean, the options are very limited when you've got a ball like that, but that's why you've got to try so many different things. Yeah. Never really think how important the ball is from, a, from an outside perspective. So for a, if a club cricket is starting this season looking to focus on one or two things, what would you suggest? Uh, I mean, all I, I never look too far ahead. Like the first over is really important because there's so many things you've got to take into consideration. Maybe wind, moisture in the pitch, what, what length is going to suit, foot holes, run up, settling the nerves, expectation of everyone, setting the tone. So I just focus on my first over. I'm not thinking like I've got to take a wicket. I'm thinking about the area I'm trying to hit. I never try and swing the ball in the first 12 balls because early in my career when I look to swing it, because I don't have the control of someone like Jimmy, if I try and swing it and I over pitch, bang, four, or doesn't swing as much, bang, four through mid wicket, Whereas if, and then your confidence can drop. So I try and wobble it, I'll, I'll try and hold it like that, try and get it to stand up, because I know if I'm wobbling the ball, I shouldn't miss my area, because nothing can affect where I bowl it. Whereas if I'm trying to swing it, I, I, the, the swing can move from where I'm trying to bowl it. So I just try and bowl 12 solid wobble seam balls, and then I'll speak to Jimmy or Fletch at knots and go, what do you think, is it swinging? Is it humid? Is it moving around? Is it seeming? What, what length? And that's when I start to adjust to the conditions. So two, my first two overs is me. Get myself right, get my tempo, get my knees up, get into it, make sure I feel good. Then I adjust to what I'm doing there. He's right. just talking me through his cover drive. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Lucky Toby. <laughs> that goffy. <laughs> Obviously, I got plenty wrong there. What uh, felt what felt right for you? Knees pumping. It was a bit fuller than I was aiming for. I was aiming for your off stump, but it was half the yard fuller than I wanted it to be. Uh, I think it just actually did you on angle, it's a bit wider on the crease. Yeah. The two previous I bowled mid crease, that one I bowled a bit wider. So I think it was just a little bit of angle. Stuart, you can see Mr. Straight Ball. <laughs> oh, swung in, it's away. Was that off peg out the ground as well? That was off peg. Oh, I want to say broken, but beautiful. I think that might be not oh. me just putting it back in. <laughs> fell away, lost my front <laughs> Fell away, lost my front arm, and it nipped back. It didn't nip back. <laughs> <laughs> I said you can, you can tell him you missed a straight one. His words, beating for pace. Beating for pace. Oh. I've not heard that since 2008. <laughs> <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard that. <laughs> right, Village versus Pro with Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad. I've already got out. It's quite a good ball. These guys are absolute legends. Thank you so much to LV Insurance. This is just such an amazing opportunity. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and leave a comment with who you think we should face next. So LV Insurance men's Ashes series coming up. I'm guessing you're pretty buzzing, right? Yeah, yeah, we've um, had a good, good few months with the test team. We've started playing some really good cricket. It's been great to be a part of, and um, yeah, we, we obviously have got a decent amount of cricket this year, so we, we, the Ashes being the, the main part, so we're um, just looking forward to keep trying to build on what we've, um, we've already been doing. And, um, it must be an amazing bunch of people to be around from, from an outside view, it looks amazing. Uh, filming this in January, so New Zealand is coming up. 
and that is just I guess just pure prep like testing things out or how, how do you see that series going like is it is it going to be a bit of a test and a try new things or is it going to be pretty no I, I, as I said we I think every series we, we're going there to win you know every series we play we're trying to win win games we, we're not as, as Brendan and Ben have said a lot we, we're not interested in draws we want to we want to win um, so we're just yeah we're trying to build on what we've already done. We, we play brilliantly in Pakistan, a uh, difficult place to go and, go and win. Um, and we're just yeah, trying to build on that and then build some momentum going into the summer. Awesome. Last ball, Toby. Oh, he's still full. Good line, still too full. But... Luckily, we found the new ball just in time for Jimmy versus Toby. A little swing. Should we roll with a new, new ball? <laughs> Right, time to face Jimmy Anderson. Was it Mullery VJ you bowled here? Yeah. St like, bowled him off peg and he right. couldn't believe it. Get greedy with it. Come on, Tex, what's the launch pitch? Oh. Oh. I stiffened up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is enough. What a difference a ball makes, eh? Throwing that ball back to you with disgust. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually got a couple of spots open at my village in, uh, in May. If you guys want to open the batting, maybe. Oh, a bit fuller. Same ball, but a bit fuller. Same ball, a bit fuller. We, if we could get a still image of that, there was a moment <laughs> when he was looking through square leg and the ball was going through gully. Yeah, thinking, why is the ball <laughs> I was aiming over there, why is it not going through? Textbook. Keep going, Toby. Oh, so well bold. <laughs> Don't show me too much of that right shoulder, you. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know, that's missed off stump. How do you do that? Is that swinging? Yeah. I've got absolutely no chance here, but it's still good fun. Do you reckon you could, is it in a good enough nick you could turn it around and Boom it in. Oh yeah, yeah. But just I want one more, I think. Mm. Yeah, that, that penultimate. I want you to bowl him off peg with him looking through square leg. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh. Uh, it is addictive, though. Like, just bowling, you see someone else, I'm going, oh, yeah, yeah I'll I'll have one more. Get, let me go again. And your last one is never. <laughs> now, weirdly, I want another over with a new ball. Like the same set. One more, Stokesy. One more. I'm going to try and bat outside my crease and play an off drive, or maybe a long drive. Easier said than done. Massive in swinger. In swinger coming. Greedy. Always bounce, bounce. His in swinger always bounces more. Pathetic that was. What would Baz McCullum say to you right now? Play with freedom. Play with freedom. Stop looking to survive. That's a tough option, but. <laughs> Is that the stump? I heard a noise, but the bales were on, so not out. <laughs> I think that's an edge off the stumps. Wow. Do you reckon I ate the stumps? I think it did. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> Where were you trying to hit that? Oh, just, just hit it. What do you want, in or out? Uh, I, I, I prefer Why the did drama the... of it, innit? it? Do you? Yeah. I've just bowled in there, the bales didn't come off. So okay, I... what about wider the trees away? Yeah, all straight. right. That is literally the perfect, perfect ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's out. Wow. Is out. Awesome. Thanks very much. Different with a new ball, isn't it? <laughs> that was epic. Clearly, you're in your flow the last few balls. What's yeah. your key? So, she obviously says like relaxing the first 12 balls. What's mm. your kind of mentality going into a game? Well, so we were just talking, yeah, we were talking about early on, Stuart will bowl wobble seam yeah. just to settle in, get used to, get into a rhythm. I'll try and swing it. And as soon as, like, when I bowled the first one at you and it was swinging, 
then that makes it helps me relax because I know exactly what I'm doing with it um, and then just about having a bit of fun and I think I feel like we if it's swinging that much in a game I still get the same amount of fun out of it it doesn't become a job anymore it becomes like just uh, yeah having a bit of fun and we we're lucky we get to chat all the time when the bowler who isn't bowling is at mid off and we're just yeah talking through ideas and um, what should we bowl at a certain batter and things like that it's quite cool that one worked <laughs> yeah did didn't it yeah. that was a good yeah. I think I got you the ball before and it just clipped the stump I think it was accurate yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, but anyway thank you so much for your time guys pleasure no, no, I appreciate it. it a lot yeah. thank you very much thank you enjoyed it appreciate well, it mate. cheers well thanks a lot cheers thanks yeah. cheers well, well, I'm I'm quite quick. Cool. I just got well and truly humbled by the greatest fast bowler of all time. Um, and if there's anyone who can do it, it's Jimmy Anderson, so I don't feel too bad. No, that was pretty perfect. Called it from the start, wide of the crease, straighter than swinging away. Yeah. Just ridiculous amount. Like, I'm, I'm so amazed how they literally every ball, they're like, oh, that was probably like, a little bit too far forward, a little bit too far back, but yeah. they're talking like inches yeah. and the way they can just adjust to, that is literally the perfect ball. You can't. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that, I can take, take some solace in that. Um, you can't do anything about that. No, just like I probably won't be able to do anything about my first ball in May that does exactly the same thing off 65 year old Dave. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. Massive thank you to LV Insurance for setting this up. LV are all about supporting grassroots cricket all the way through to elite levels cricket and we thought what better way to demonstrate that than through an episode of Village versus Pro. Definitely, yeah, you can check out the LV Funds for Runs, it's all about that kind of connection between grassroots and the pro game. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, enjoy the ashes, see you soon. Cheers guys.